I, I can't remember the price. I think it's fifteen dollars. I might be getting uh, uh, be getting it wrong, but uh, you can fill that up all the way to the top. It's uh, at the Fort Myers Beach Library, and the time is nine to two today and nine to two uh, tomorrow. So, Sherry, uh, I am not even going to try and say your last name because I butcher it. But thank you for coming on, <laughs> Blaukoff. Blaukoff. And our camera's here, and uh, Sherry is going to be doing a demonstration tomorrow right. about the uh, watercolor art. Right. So you're from Canada. I'm from Montreal. Montreal. Isn't yeah. that, is that close to Canada? That's close to Canada. Yeah. That's right in Canada. And now, when yeah. did they start allowing the Canadians uh, to come back in? No, uh, November 8th by car. No. So we, oh, by car. Yeah, so we left on the 11th. We did were, you? We were one of the, not one of the first, but many Canadians came down. Did you try and sneak down before that? Just to, Well, we could fly. We oh, could you fly. could fly. Yeah, we could now, fly. But. Oh, so how did they stop you? How would they stop you if you were trying to drive? They Oh, were they would by stop you. Your it was just and... non-essential travel only. I so see. if you didn't have a good reason to come down, you just couldn't get down. Got you. Yeah. Now, the reason you're here is because of the demonstration, which will be at the Fort Myers Beach Art Association right. tomorrow, tomorrow from, uh, from one, one to two. One o'clock to two. And what is, what is the demonstration? going to be about i am going to well i'm an urban sketcher so I explain what that is yes we've got people from yes, michigan that are yes, low on the yes, iq scale yes. <laughs> like brad he knows who i'm talking about chad so i have no uh, idea what that is so i fit right in there so what does that urban, so sketcher urban mean? sketchers is a worldwide organization of people who sketch on location so we take our sketchbooks and we draw wherever we are if i wasn't in this interview today i'd be sitting out there with a coffee and I'd be drawing all this stuff around me. So I see. Um, so we it was started by a man named Gabby Campanario, who's uh, originally from Spain, but lives in Seattle. And um, he started sketching and he started finding other people who were sketching on location. And he started a, a Flickr group and a blog. And mm. eventually it became a worldwide movement with thousands and thousands of people from all over the world who sketch. Um, we just take our sketchbooks everywhere. And uh, there's a reportage element, too. You know, there's a lot of people who there's sketch a what? reportage. W what does that so mean? It means people take their sketchbooks on location and they'll draw, for example, political events, protests, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff, marches, or just document the world around them and, uh, and with their sketchbooks. So what was the first one you've ever you, you ever sketched? Uh, well, I mean, I've been drawing all my life, but when I discovered Urban Sketchers about 10 years ago, I just started carrying my sketchbook with me um, everywhere in Montreal. So I was teaching at the time in a college, and I would I would draw my students, I would draw from my car, I draw from my car all the time hmm. in Montreal because it's cold. So I just... I just draw scenes, you know, I'll draw people, I'll draw, uh, I'll go to markets and draw, I'll draw a lot. A big component is also travel sketching. So a lot of us sketch on location when we're traveling. And instead of taking photos, we document our, our travels through our sketches. Do you ever uh, sketch Guy Lafleur? I have, I of course know who he is, <laughs> but I have never sketched him. That's a ding, him. ding, ding for you. Good one there. Yeah. One of the biggest hockey players of, of all course, time in, the, of course, of in, in course, Canada. Of course. So, um, is it, I know this is, I, this isn't me prying or anything like that. If my wife was here, she'd be asking this, is this a money making thing? I mean, can you make money at it? Well, um, I teach, so uh, I don't, you know, I don't necessarily so it's more make of a hobby. I, I, yeah, I, I well, love. no, I teach sketching, so I do oh. make money oh, because okay. I teach sketching. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought maybe you taught no, biology no, no. or something no, like no, no, that. No, 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 no. Well, I'm a graphic designer by trade. Okay. Uh, so art related, and I've always drawn all my life. Um, but I started sketching about 10 years ago, and then I started teaching as well. I started teaching sketching, and now um, I teach all over the world. I teach sketching all over the world, and I have online classes, too. What do you, so, uh, uh, by the way, uh, my day job, I don't mean to sidetrack you a little bit here, but my day job uh, is working for Streamline Publishing, which publishes Radio Inc. Magazine, which is a radio publication. But on the other side of the building, we have Plain Air uh, Magazine. Oh, that's yeah, a Eric, big one, yeah, Eric oh, yeah. Rhodes. Oh, look at you. Do He's I get my a boss. For that? He's really? my boss. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of yeah, course. Yeah. I listen to his podcast. Not and... Very nice. Yeah. Has he, he has ever some... had you on as a guest? No. He well, hasn't. I'm going yeah, to tell him that. Put in a good word. Oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> no, yeah. but you know he's got some great events. He has Watercolor Live coming up, and he has yeah. a plein air convention in Santa Fe. What a Fe, small world. So, yeah. Have of you course. ever been to one of his uh, conferences? No. No. Not yet. Well, I'll tr not try yet. and see if I can call the home office and get you a little discount. Oh, that would be great. Very nice. Great. Yeah. He's he's he held. 
great yeah. events. And yeah. he started out as a radio announcer and then just kind of ah. grew into the art uh, side of things. And, you know, he has a place in the Adirondacks that he, he, you know, he has a vacation house at the Adirondacks in the Adirondacks. And then he invites, you know, painters yeah, that's uh, right. to come up yes. and they sit out in the Adirondacks yeah. and they, and they paint. Uh, well, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, yeah, small uh, world. yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll no, I do. Now. I love his podcast. Uh, actually. Awesome. They're great. Yeah. So I'm going to pull up some of your pictures. Sure. And then you're going to tell us what we're looking at. And we're just going to start with the first one that you sent me. So um, this one is talk. Talk about this one that you see there. Well, that's it. That's at a place um, close to my house in Montreal called Angel Woods. And it's a really, really beautiful um, green space. And I walk there almost every day in the winter with my dog. And there's this stream that's really incredible. So what I do is I don't paint outdoors in the winter because it's too cold. But I often stop and take a quick photo. And then I come home. And while the image is fresh in my mind, I paint it. So now, how long did it take you to paint that one? That's probably about an hour and a half. Very cool. All right. So color. let's look at this one. Ah, uh, This is one of my favorite places. Also, close to my house in Montreal. It's a place called Techno Park Oiseau. So it's a bird sanctuary. It's one of the big, biggest wetland areas in Montreal. And um, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of special because it's sort of an endangered area because um, there's a light rail line going up. And as they put up that light rail line, they're tunneling under it and mm. putting stuff over it. And, um, uh, in the summer, what happened was because they were tunneling under it, a sinkhole developed and all the water drained out of the wetland. And um, so I was really glad that I had captured it before. But, you know, gradually the water's coming back. And how long did it take you to to, uh, to paint that one? Oh, that one was a longer one. That's a large size work. So that was about uh, three hours. Got it. All right. Now we'll go to number three. We got five pictures to show off. Look at uh, that one. I love painting boats and I live very close to the lake in Montreal. And um, that's the Point Claire Yacht Club. So I just I love boat. I love the shape of boats in dry dock. I, in fact, I do a lot of painting around here. I go to San Carlos Island and I paint cool. the shrimp boats. And now um, how did you get connected with uh, with the Fort Myers Beach Art Association? Uh, I think they saw that I come often to Sanibel in the winter, so they just contacted me and they said, if you're here this winter, can you come in and give us a demo? Where do you stay on Sanibel? Uh, we rent a house. Very uh, cool. A, a, do right. a dog-friendly house. Um, nice. What kind of dog do you have? I have a yellow lab. Oh, that's yeah, what we had. Uh, yeah, yeah. Until she passed great. away. Yeah, Aww. that's all right. She was twelve, and Aww. I would have kept yeah. her living until she was twenty. But my wife said the, the legs are giving out. You probably you want to yeah. take yeah. a trip it's to hard, the, uh... take a trip to the vet. And oh, so that's the I took a trip thing. to the vet, and that was the last trip we went on. But anyway, enough about me. Let's go to picture number four. So this summer, um, we were visiting our son who lives in Salt Lake City, and we took a little trip to Capitol Reef National Park, and we did some amazing hikes in Capitol Reef. And uh, when I came home, I wanted to paint uh, some of the scenes that I saw. Wait, so where did you say that was? Utah. What part of Utah? Uh, that is Capitol Reef. It's one of the five national parks in Utah. What uh, part of so you? So that's southern Utah. Yeah, it's like sort the of city in between. Is... So my son lives in Salt Lake City, mm -hmm. and we drove straight down to Capitol Reef. So um, of the five national parks in Utah, that's the middle one. Gotcha. So there's Bryce and Zion t to the west and arches and uh the other one yeah so, yeah yeah Canyon we, we go out to utah yeah quite a it's bit. pretty yeah. amazing yeah so i we, love hiking we, in the utah mountains and, oh, the, and the red rock and oh, all that it's so gorgeous, yeah it's, gorgeous. it's so pretty yeah. so do we yeah so do we so, so we so we did this hike and um that's a really large painting that's a, a person shoot. in there that's my son oh i see yeah walking well, there's actually a few people in there but that did was you sort take of a picture first yeah and then yeah went... i did i did that from a picture because uh i couldn't carry it my painting stuff is too heavy and it was too hot in the summer so yeah. i did some quick small it does sketches get hot there it doesn't get yeah. as muggy as it does no, down here but it's it nice gets and hot dry. yeah so i did that i did that one at home and how long did that take you that was a long one that probably took all day now again okay. if my wife was here she'd ask you this because she's nosy so how much you think you can get how much are you getting for that one are, are you offering i i don't know i have no idea i, I mean <laughs> i fish with a bobber one, that that one's about 1800 nice did you yeah. get did you get it i haven't sold it so i haven't only, sold it so you only paint one 
you don't paint like uh, 15 of them and then no but i do do prints i scan them and i have i have i, a, I have a print shop so, so that one's prints. available for 1800 right very cool and yeah. then we have uh we have one more and uh i have to there we go oh, did uh, we sell that one that's, already that's no a different we one. didn't we didn't that's a good story i love paintings with stories yes yeah, so do um, i um so uh this was another boatyard near my house and it was uh not too long ago when it was starting to get cold and they had already taken the boats out and put them in dry dock and um i saw i saw some i was walking around i wanted to sketch and i saw some uh some rubber boots behind a boat and this yellow uh rain slicker uh -huh. and i thought that would be a great image so i walked around and i started taking photos and sometimes people get upset when you take photos of them so anyway this guy noticed me and he came walking over and i thought he was mad at me <laughs> because i was taking his picture and then i and then he, he said oh hello and i realized it was a former colleague of mine who had Crazy. retired to sail his boats so um he was pressure washing all the zebra muscles off the boat Do you have wow. zebra muscles here so i don't know are, are they fish an, are they, is that an, kind of fish like an invasive of a um, mollusk we got all kinds of the, invasive yeah, stuff so around that, here he was so. trying to get this he had a pressure washer is that a freshwater boat or was it that's in the salt water, water or freshwater fresh yeah that's on, a, on the lake i see on the, on the so Lawrence. again for the wife's purposes because she <laughs> might be watching later on today what is, what is the that the price get of that one about 800 nice so yeah i was hoping that guy would buy it but no, no, but he didn't go for it. He didn't so go for this it. this one right here is the big dog, right? Right. Yeah. That's so the biggest one. What is all right, again, what is like um the most you've ever gotten for one of your beautiful probably, pictures? Probably about that. Nice. That's, is, that's where, the do you, largest where do you sell them? I people, a lot of people buy them right off my website, yeah. off Instagram. They the judge see is them. here. I think he wants to take a look at the picture there. <laughs> he might he might cut you a check uh <laughs> right here for eighteen hundred dollars. Uh, so that'd be great. That'd so be great. <laughs> do you do you show your art at uh at different galleries? I, I and do, stuff? I do. Um I'm part of some local art groups. I'm part of the Canadian Society of Painters in Watercolor. Um, that's a Canadian association of, of uh, watercolor artists. And uh, so we have shows. Uh, I also enter my shows in different local places, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes small galleries in Montreal. And often just uh, off my website, people buy right off my how, website. How competitive is the watercolorist business? Like, are there a lot of you? Uh, there are a lot of us in Canada. It's and a lot in the states too. So uh, yeah. there's a lot of associations in in the U.S. Um, but we're the big one what, in Canada. What kind of uh, products, like your or your supplies, are you coming out with when you're when I mean, I'm going out to paint on location? Yeah, yeah. Well, my smallest bag that I carry is a a small little bag that has just a couple of brushes in it and a small sketchbook and a small travel palette. Um, but when I go out to paint the big ones, I have a big easel. I have a portable easel. Yeah. I have, so, and you don't get uh, bored just sitting there painting or, or looking at stuff and painting or never, never, never. never. I it's, love it. I, it. I just love it. I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful to look at the world around you and mm -hmm. figure out, you know, what you're going to capture. It's a crazy I, world around us now though. It is a crazy, it is yeah. a crazy world. And, and, uh, COVID was very hard for artists because we couldn't get out and sketch. It was hard for my group of artists. Why, why couldn't like you get out? Cause outside seems to be the safest place or well, nobody we knew travel. at the time. We couldn't I travel. See. And we, not, we not all, in, we all love to like travel and be, in crowded places and sit in places like this and yeah. we couldn't do that not enough cool stuff in canada lots other than, of cool stuff in yeah. canada lots what's of, the coolest thing you painted in canada uh the coolest thing i guess the rockies we've been out to out west and i've painted the rockies and that's pretty amazing very nice now how did yeah. you learn how to paint like this uh, well, I, I, I've always uh, one of those kids that always drew and um, I started painting in watercolor. There was a guy in our neighborhood when I was in my teens and he taught watercolor. So I started with that and uh, then I just kept on learning and I'm still learning. Again, for our Michigan uh, audience, what is, I mean, watercolor painting means what compared to like other kinds of painting? Well, so it's water soluble. All right. So it means that you're working with water and with pigment and with brushes. So when you work with with oil, for example, or acrylic, you put down a stroke on, on a canvas or on a paper and it stays there. Whereas watercolor, as it mixes on the paper, <laughs> is continuing to dry. I'm not laughing at you. I watch the comments come yeah, in as yeah. they're coming in live. Yeah. And sometimes somebody says the sound is off. And I think, uh, oh, crap, something's wrong with the sound. And then everybody else chimes in and says the sound is OK. So that means somebody's <laughs> computer doesn't work. And then one, of course, Lance has to jump in and said, the sound is good, except Ed's microphone is working. 
So this is the kind of you see, these are the kinds of people that we're dealing with sometimes. Well, They're never going to graduate have, to watercolor. You have an audience. Yeah. Which is I'm fantastic. afraid my next guest is going to talk so far over their head that they're not they're they're, they're going to have to watch the show four or five times before they realize how smart he is. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the same about you because uh, watercolor, like it's it's incredible uh, the artistic ability that you have. And the way I think of watercolor is it makes the brush easier to wash off because right. Right. See, that is that's, an that's why I would like it. <laughs> definitely an added Because benefit. when you're at home and you're trying to paint the deck or something like that, you might as well just throw the brushes out. Exactly, it's ridiculous. Exactly. So, so, but I didn't mean to interrupt. But our, <laughs> the people okay. at uh, the people that are watching us sometimes can be annoying and they have to be put in their place. So that's go right fine. ahead. That's your job. So, but I am yeah. going to call Eric and I'm going to make sure that you're on. You know, he does that thing at noon. He does this. He does that uh, that, that live thing at noon ah, on Facebook every oh, day. Uh, every day. Yeah. Wow. And then he has guests come on like this, but he does it he uses stream yard because i think he stole it from me he didn't give me any credit for it but you can pull people in from your home like you could yeah. be painting and showing yeah. off things like that but yeah he does a live facebook i don't know how he does it every day That's i've it. done them three days he, in a row now and it's he, insane he, he doesn't stop he's an energetic guy yeah and he's yeah. getting old by the way he's no young spring chicken <laughs> uh i know what you're saying there um but uh what, where were we when i interrupted well, i was you? saying what i was telling you what watercolor was yeah. Yeah, and you, so, and you, so that that's anyway, that's what I love about it, because it's always different and it's always surprising you. Yeah. Um, so again, about the watercolor. So if you're painting something and you make a mistake or you don't like it, you just brush it off with a, with sometimes, a tissue. Sometimes, but some of the I mean, I don't want to get too technical, but sometimes the paints stain the paper. Listen, so, we talk uh, about the water issue down here. My wife thinks she's a the guru on the water issue and she gets technical and people's eyes are glazing over about the red tide and all that. So go yeah. ahead and get a little technical if you want. Yeah, well, you know, with watercolor, the white of the paper, you can never get it back. So you have to kind of figure out where you're going with it. So when I know there's areas that I want to leave white, like the sails on a boat, then I just leave them white. But I kind of have to plan where that's going to be. Gotcha. First. What is it that you want to paint? Like, what are you on the edge of your seat wanting to go and, and paint somewhere? Is there a place you want to go or? Uh, in the world or yeah, while yeah, I'm here? Yeah, yeah. In the world? Um I, I love the Southwest, so I'm really excited because I'm going to be teaching in Santa Fe oh, cool. uh, in May, and that's really exciting because I, I love the light. And for yeah. those in Michigan watching, that's in New Mexico, right? <laughs> <laughs> I pick on that's Ohio right. next week. Yeah, That's right. So, and, and, of course, I love Italy and France and I Spain. I see. Very Greek. nice. I'm teaching in Greece next year. Wow. So that's going to be pretty gorgeous. Very cool. So is it a class that you're teaching yeah, out there for yeah. how long? For, for a semester? For 10 days. 10 oh, days. nice. Yeah, yeah. I, so do try, I do sort of travel workshops. You set that up online and you have people I, sign I up? I work with organizers. I work with, it's, it's complicated you, to do it myself. So I, I, I work with really good organizers who do, figure out where we're going to go. Do you all and, fly over together on the same plane? No, and, we usually meet there and we, we have a pretty good time. You know, we have dinners and we so sketch together all day. Let's and, talk about tomorrow uh, again yeah. and how people can get down there and see you in action. Uh, they can look at the Fort Myers Beach Art Association website, and that will uh, give you the address of where I'm going to be. And I'll be doing a one hour demo. I'll, I'll be doing uh, the oil house from Sanibel. So I was out there yesterday painting it. And it, the oil house is that little house right below the lighthouse on Sanibel. So that's going to be my demo tomorrow. I don't think I'm familiar with the oil house. I it's am familiar tiny, with the lighthouse. It's a tiny little white building, and it's got a plaque on it. And uh, Why not the whole lighthouse? It's just too much. Oh, or... that hurts my neck. I to see. Too high. Up. Too high. So, yeah. okay. So that'll be tomorrow. And is there a cost for people to go? Or uh, no, is it... it's free. Oh, very cool. I think anybody can come. And so uh, do you come down on vacation, and you have to hook up with Pam and, and the yeah, folks? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. You know, we just we started coming down about five years ago, and we just, we just love it here. I, I love it because... I can uh, take my bike and my sketch stuff and just go up and down Sanibel and just yeah up and down periwinkle yeah, up, there yeah and I, I love going to uh, Ding Darling and sketching the birds oh my wife is going to be kicking herself <laughs> she loves Ding Darling so I just I just sketch along the way I stop at every bird stop and I sketch you know the birds. I have an idea next time you come down I will rent the bicycle bill for two okay she can drive it okay and you can ride in the back and just kind of take it's out your deal. It's yeah, a deal. sketchy it's a things deal. and she can do the bird yeah. hunting bird watching yeah, thing and uh yeah. yeah that sounds like a lot of fun yeah. we've had today's show is one that uh she's going to be uh horrified about missing because of the great guests we've had on today so did we miss anything about what I, you want to talk about no, or what, what are you going to do today 
What's going on today? Your agenda? Uh, today I'll probably get on my bike and yeah. go sketch something, and have... then and then when I get back, I'll go sit on the beach and I'll sketch the people on the beach on and... Sanibel. Yeah. Now, do you tell them you're sketching them? Or... No, no. And they're fully clothed and everything, they're, right? Yeah, they're mostly fully clothed. Yeah, over on and... Sanibel, but they're kind of <laughs> older too, right? I mean, there's all ages on Sanibel, and uh, uh, I just uh, you know you're you're pretty far away from them, yeah. so they don't see me. But you know what? If they do, I just yeah. show them my book, and cool. they usually. Maybe they might want to buy it. To, yeah, they're yeah. happy to be sketched. You know, they take pictures. What's and, your favorite place to eat over there? Uh, well, uh, we cook a lot. So yeah. my favorite thing is to just buy some really good grouper. We don't get grouper much in Montreal. So. I see. No, no fish up there. They're oh, too we cold have lo fish. lots of fish. We have lots of fish, but not not grouper. The, I, you, I also like the the shrimp from uh, San Carlos. I, I, go, see. I go right where the boats are and buy the shrimp. Well, so. make a stop at the Island Cow if you have a chance. Oh, they the are island, fabulous uh, breakfast. The down there. Island Cow is yeah. great. Yeah. We've been there. Yeah. yeah, We love that yeah. place. Yeah, that's great. Well, good luck tomorrow and thanks for coming down. Now, when do you know you're coming back? Oh, I'll be back. Same time every year or, yeah, or changes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back next year. Well, we'll have year. to have you on the show when the great. wife is here. And, and uh, I'm, I'm going to get the bicycle ready for, for you two. And then I'm going to take pictures of it as I'm driving in the car. Thank you so much. This <laughs> no, has been you. so much fun. And I will get you the interview and send you uh, yeah, the thing and, um, and, and call Eric and talk to him. Okay. That, if I see you on his, on his show, it's going to be super awesome. Because he that is a good be guy. Great. Yeah. That would be great. All right, everybody. Thanks Sherry, so good luck tomorrow. And uh, what's the way? What's your website? Oh, my! I have many websites. Uh, there, SherryBlaukoff.com is my blog. Okay. Uh, Blaukoff Watercolors is my website with my watercolors. Now I'm going to put her name up on the screen for anybody that yeah. wants to make sure you spell it right, so you're not worrying about uh, right. how to spell. It. But go ahead. I didn't and interrupt. And my online classes are learn.SherryBlaukoff.com. So there's a lot of Blaukoffs in there. That's Did I get it. it right there? You got it right. Super. You got it right. So, awesome. yeah, you'll find me. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow. It's Thank 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock at the Fort Myers. 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, and then there's a reception after with an exhibition. So I think it'll be a, there'll be a lot of things to see. Awesome. Good luck, and thanks a lot thanks. for coming by. All thanks right, so Sherry. Much, Ed. All right.